questions? Yeah, in, in my opinion. Oh, Gohan, you muted. Sorry, sorry. sorry. Uh, in my opinion, young generation prefer than the old generation. Men different. Men different. Old men implant the hairs. Young, uh, opposite, young, doesn't want young men, but woman generation, young woman uh, makes the lips. I'm yeah. sure because, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sure yeah. most popular. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much for your Goodbye. for your information there, Gohan. Uh, Abdul, I see your hand is up. You can. Uh, yes, uh, uh, mostly I think mostly in women because uh, women is, is more conscious than men about their skin. And the uh, the second uh, question uh, you you raised the question is uh, age uh, groups. Uh, yeah, uh, younger people are more possessive than older people, but it, this is a passage of time. When we uh, 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 go back to 10 to 15 years ago, uh, there is a no trend in cosmetics uh, items. So with the passage of time, the cosmetic industry are grown then as compared to uh, past years. So with the passage of time and uh, uh, I, my, my point of view, Hollywood is a very impact uh, impact on the peoples about their skin caring and also celebrities so so with the passage of time uh, uh also older age uh, groups people also uh, toward the cosmetics uh, things uh, they also uh, caring about their skin so uh, i'm uh, in this uh, in uh, in future uh, we maybe in five to uh, ten years uh, all groups age age groups are concerned about their skins because of uh, entertainment industry mm, social media has got a big influence on a lot of this thank you so much yes. abdul thank you i've got murad your hand is up you can have the stage yeah, thank you so much. So answering your question, do you think cosmetic surgery is more popular with women or men? Well, I do believe that uh, this beauty clinics mostly built for women because they are more concerned about their beauty and they want always you know, to enhance that because of the standards that has been built, uh, put by the societies. And the problem is that um, the more women are getting obsessed with their beauty, the more they got to add, and I mean the surgeons, they're gonna add more of a solutions for their own beauty. So um, I don't recommend actually you now to go through those hard pro process just to satisfy the societies. So it's it's better to keep things naturally, unless you have like a damages in your face or facial damages or uh, like a body defects. In that case, I think uh, you can enhance your body. And uh, you came with a very important point, which is how we can prolong our youthness and I believe this is one of the, the, the biggest concerns not only for women also for men that all of us want to stay healthy and youth for uh, us as, as much as we can so in that particular case I believe you know we can go through those type of operations that can enhance our youthness like uh, when you start to get wrinkled I think there are some solutions that can recover your skin and uh, to to uh, to to trim your skin to look more uh, youth and uh, bright. So um, yeah, I believe uh, women should, uh, you know, be more, you know, satisfied with their own beauty, unless, you know, there are once again, uh, damages that could affect their uh, you know, progress in life. Cause you know, beauty is something very important, but at the same time, you know, when things got uh, addictive, I think uh, things will be so tough, you know, to be countered. Yeah, this is my opinion and thank you so much. Thank you, Murat. Thank you. Yeah, that's very true. What you said had me thinking about a lot of things now. But prevention is always better than cure. So when you're young, you need to take care of your skin. So when you're older, that's something more people should listen to. Okay, Sadat, you are next. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Give me a chance again. Mm, I like yeah. Yes, teacher. 
Yes, uh, what do you think uh, cosmetic surgery is more popular with women and men? Uh, my opinion about uh, when you visit the clinic, you see a lot of the women uh, more than men. I think uh, Murad mentioned a lot of things about uh, because women uh, every every age won't uh, appear beauty always and um, uh, but yes mm, yeah you can carry on okay uh, i think uh, cosmetic surgery it has a, a, a weak point and strong point uh, Everyone who won the uh, custom of the surgery should be caring about the something like healthy. And uh, not all surgery would be, it is good for healthy. Some uh, like, for example, the face, sometimes you, uh, some surgery, do surgery should be caring about because your cells may be destroyed and destroy the beauty. And nowadays, uh, man, it is like it, the surgery, like uh, a noise, surgery noise and face, so on. Uh, thank you so much. It's my idea about the thank you, surgery. Thank you. I hope you get the point. <laughs> I, I did understand completely what you said there. And the reason you see more women in clinics is because they have to take care of all the children. <laughs> yeah. And you're tired, yes, of, always, tired okay. of all the men. Yes, teacher. <laughs> always women won't appear beauty, appear everything. Uh, be perfect. Uh, uh, one thing is uh, in packets. I'm sorry. I, uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, social media impacted the uh, more uh, do surgery because impacted. For example, I am surgery. I am posting. I am uh, I find a new face again. Another uh, person won't like me. Thank you mm. so much. Thank you, Sadat. Yes, it's becoming a big trend. If one person gets it, the other one wants it as well. Okay, Danielle, it's your turn. Okay. <laughs> Teacher, uh, I want to say uh, the woman use more cosmetic surgery than, than men uh, because uh, we accept uh, all men like they are, they are but uh, they don't accept us uh, like we we are they don't well done it was perfectly said yes but that's very true so women want to live up to main standard of beauty but now all the men are saying they don't have standards so i'm very confused now yes but thank you so much danielle um uh, is there anybody else i see the people aren't raising their hands and i don't want to pick on somebody Okay, so this is my next question. Um, would you like to be a cosmetic surgeon? Murad, you first on. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, I would like to be a cosmetic surgeon because it's uh, the shortest way to gain money. Just, yeah. you know, put your ad, uh, advertisement and all women will run to you just to, to fix their beauty. So yes, I would love to be a, a cosmetic surgeon. Okay, so you're doing it for the money. Even yeah, though... definitely. <laughs> this is the well, beauty that men seeking always to have. Ah, so now you're making a business out of it. It's very smart, very smart business brain man there. Thank you so much, Murad. <laughs> um, Abdul, would you want to be a plastic or cosmetic surgeon? Yeah, I do. But uh, uh, as uh, Murad said, uh, the shortest uh time frame of uh, making great money but i do for uh acid victim women's 
uh, the lot of uh, in uh, countries uh, in uh, I lived in Pakistan, India, Pakistan, and Bangladesh also have uh, some acid victim women. Uh, so they have I work do work for their uh, free of cost because they exploit exp all exp exp uh, spoil their life. So I do for their acid victim especially. Oh wow, your yeah. acid victims are quite a. I I watched the documentary about that. It's very scary, but yeah, yeah. Is easiest way to be a millionaire or a billionaire? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Abdul. Uh, Gohan, <laughs> tell me, would you be one? Yeah, uh, I don't agree, my friends. I don't want. Uh, I wouldn't like to be a cosmetic surgeon because uh, I'm feeling maybe butchers. Uh, I hate it. I don't want to uh, see the uh, plant. Uh, I hate it. Did. It's hard for me. Okay. The first man that doesn't want to do it to be rich. Well, thank you, Gohan, for being honest. <laughs> uh, so I see none of the women want to be cosmetic surgeons. Siddharth, do you want to be a cosmetic surgeon? Would you uh, like to be one? Yes, sure. Uh, answer your question two parts. The first part, yes, I won't. Uh, the second part, no, because uh, this uh, this job just uh, get more money a uh, business. Not all uh, totally business, but most of the business. Because some people not uh, there's no problem any any face anybody just won't be uh, appear beauty and uh, we have a lot of money should be spend this this <laughs> this uh, custom and surgery that's all. Thank you, Sudan. <laughs> um, yeah, for the business part it makes sense, but. I feel like it's a conflict of interest saying, but all women are beautiful, but I still want to make money out of them. Because yes, you're going to evaluate their faces and tell them, actually, your eyes aren't five eyes apart or whatever. Yes, so teacher. Very... Okay, I'm sorry to interrupt you. But... I'm, yeah, it's, I'm just joking with you, Sadat. But it's good. Business yeah. brain people in this classroom today. Yes, sure. But one uh, one point here, uh, uh, that some people want to, anyone want to the, do this should be before thinking, and we know about what's happened after uh, do this should be know about because after uh, customic surgery should uh, bring some problem. Mm. Has any of you in the? Thank you, Sir Dad. Malady's mentioned it about the problems and that. Has anybody ever watched the TV series called Botched? Yes. About the two plastic surgeons that they get the people that plastic surgery went wrong and then they have to try and fix the problem. Has anybody watched Botched? No, teacher. Uh, teacher, I have one example. I'm sorry, <laughs> uh, take your time. Um, uh, I, when I study university, my friend uh, surgery uh, noise noise after um, get more smaller the noise after do this uh, bring some problem and one thing is. Uh, when uh, in the winter you cannot cannot uh, go to outside a lot should be stay and uh, when the uh, get uh, hot sometimes uh, problem and always sometimes uh, we have a pain mm -hmm. okay so you said you're even wrong yes thank you so much Sudan. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, that's also another thing. Do you, any of you know somebody that had cosmetic surgery that went wrong? 
Uh, Murad? Yes, I uh, I personally know two, three of my friends, not my close friends. They did um, some cosmetic surgery and those cosmetics went wrong. And uh, uh, after that, they were requested to do um, some surgeries to recover those mistakes that has that has been done on their faces. So it's something horrible, actually, not to go through a lot of operations just to recover one of uh, your own mistakes or a surgeon mistake. Yeah, so yeah, it could happen anytime, especially if you will go to a surgeon who's not experienced or he's not that he's or he's not well known with his uh, job. So um, yeah, it could happen. It could happen, and a lot there are there are a lot of cases that uh, we all know about them. Oh, thank you so much, Murat. That that's very scary. The experienced doctors. Um, the other day, I had a friend tell me that. If you go to the doctor, it doesn't matter if he passed his exam with 1% or 100%. He's still a doctor then. So you might get somebody that's not too experienced and they can mess up your face. So Of course. It's, it's we are talking scary. about the face. We, we are talking about the face. Something cannot be changeable. <laughs> you can't so hide it. Mistake, yeah, you cannot hide it. And you are talking about something very sensitive. Any mistake could like uh, stay in your face for the rest of your life. So you have always, you know, to, to consider that the good doctors to go to do your operation with him. So yes, yeah. sometimes people will, will, will change things or will evaluate things based on the, the price. If he will get, you know, uh, over or better, you know, charges, they will go to any doctor just to do those uh, operations and they will forget about the, 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 the job, how it will be done. So yes, it could be something very harmful to the face. And yes, it could take you to uh, uh, more surgery, surgeries, you know, to, to, to recover those uh, issues. That's very true. Thank you so much, Murad. Imagine they, they puncture a vein or artery and you, your nose bleeds forever. Every time you blow your nose, it's just black because that's also a reality. Um, there are so many things that can go wrong. Um, yeah, I'm so much shook now. Siddharth. Uh, yes, teacher, about the customer surgery. Uh, some doctors uh, don't care about the healthy, healthy people, just won't uh, do, they want to the more money, earn money, uh, don't care about the healthy uh, the person, uh, for example, uh, uh, I went to the customic, customic surgery. I visit the clinic. Uh, doctor, don't say anything. Just tell me. Uh, are you ready to? Are you ready for surgery? Just don't care about the the uh, impact. Impact the healthy. Do this. After after surgery, what happened? The the face. Yeah. Yeah. That's after care exactly. You can get an infection in your face as well if the if they don't comply with the health standards. That's yes, teacher. Teacher yeah. should be the doctor should be uh, clarification all things about surgery, not just focus on the money. Just as many should be mm, not just uh, explaining all things before surgery and after the, all the pros and cons. Yeah. Yes. yes. So that's also another worrying thing because I know before you go for any surgery, you as a person must know. Oh no, they're not asking me questions. Is everything okay? Yeah. Like as a person, we should be more aware of all the scamming and scammers going around nowadays. Social media has quite a bad effect on that. Um, guys, uh, there's still a lot of time left. I, I wrote down a note last week. I really want to know, there's a few students out, which time slots um, should we look at having classes? Because uh, I don't want to have a class and prepare for 20 students and only have three coming. So I'm giving, I'm asking you guys to tell me what times are usually more effective for you. Let's work on London time. 
Murad, thank you. Well, thank you so much. I think, you know, the, the time that uh, you are doing your class now is suitable for all of us because mm -hmm. it's very hard to find a compromise since we are, you know, living in different places. So uh, and I feel that uh, the time that you are running your class today is the suitable time for me, you know, at least. And I would love, you know, to, to attend the, the other classes, you know, at the same time as well. Because once again, it's suitable for me. And during weekends as well? What's the well, feel on weekends? I really, I really like the way you are teaching. So I'm going to attend even in the middle of the night. Oh, thank you. That's a kind blush, blush, blush. <laughs> No, I'm really blushing now. Thank you so much. Um, okay, so Doc. Yes, sure. About the time uh, class, I this uh, I think it is good time. Mm -hmm. uh, and I want to thank you for your style and uh, techniques for teaching. I think this amazing, this amazing. <laughs> uh, your topic. Thank you. Another amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I, also, if there's any ideas for topics, I want to start doing role plays as well. Yeah. Why give you a character and you have to envision that character in your head. So I want to start doing stuff like that as well. Because um, it doesn't, it's, this is a very difficult class because we can't really yes. build on different things. So I want to know what the general feel is. But I'm liking the fact that this time suits a lot of you because this is a nice time. Um, yes, thank teacher. you, Sadat. Yes, teacher, one point uh, I want. Uh, yes, teacher. Another thing is your uh, topic is a reality, not a magic. It is oh. a, a topic. Uh, for example, today topic is a customic surgery. It is a very common nowadays. Mm -hmm. And we know something about the vocabulary and about the surgery, so on. Uh, I recommendation for next uh, lecture, I think uh, I would like you focus on the teaching. On teaching, teaching, teaching yes. English. Yes, uh, teaching English. Yes, teaching. Yes, I am teacher. <laughs> I would like you focus on the teaching. And remember, I've got a very good brain. <laughs> I remember what people say, what they do. Be careful. But definitely, I'll actually, I'll make sure sometimes or another, I'll give you a few classes on teaching, teaching. Ne? Okay. okay, thank you so much, Tisha. Thank you, Siddharth. Um, Abdul? Uh, Nobody else wants yeah. to give me time. <laughs> uh, thanks, to teacher. Uh, uh, I'm agree with Morad. Uh, because of uh, there are the different time zones were uh, all over globe the uh, globe uh, students from all, all all over the world so uh, the my suggestion is uh, what time is you, uh, is suitable for you uh, because you are teacher <laughs> so uh, and i'm um, suggestion uh, the next topic is uh, what is the difference between print social media and electronic media and their impact mm. over life Electronic media and social media. Okay. I will definitely have a look at that. Thank yes. you. Um, but, so uh, uh, my suggestion is, uh, uh, according to your London time, uh, which is uh, suitable for me, is uh, 14 or 15. Okay, 14 or 15. GMT. GMT. Yeah, so I'm in South Africa. So if I want to have class, most of you aren't going to attend. So as... This is fun for me to do. So I want to make sure I get as much joy out of it by having it at a time that accommodates more people. So yeah, this is very important for me because I care about people speaking English, not only me. I get tired of uh, my own voice. Uh, one more topic. Uh, uh, hmm. Maybe this is a hard or controversial topic, maybe. Uh, interfaith harmony. Introvert. Introvert. Yeah. Introvert harmony. Uh, uh, and uh, how uh, to diverse our culture, how to live with diverse culture, like Singapore. Okay. Cultures. Okay. Okay. I'll definitely look at that as well. Thank you so much, Abdul. Murad. 
Yeah, thank you so much. I just want to know uh, exactly when will be your uh, coming class or if you can give me your uh, teaching schedule so that I can attend regularly. They will put classes. it on they they put it on the on Facebook. Um so I usually do Tuesdays but I had to move my class to Thursday for this week. But um yeah, they put their schedule on Facebook. So you are usually giving classes in Thursday same time. I'm going to try and ask between. them if I can have this one. Um, uh, Robert, Robert is he so he is, yeah. I'm going to talk to them about having Robert. Yeah, go ahead. The, I am allowed to teach more than one class a week. As far as I know, I'm not really intricately involved okay. with the teaching schedule. So um, Naeem is the guy that, that's controlling everything right now. Okay, I'll have a chat with them, them after the class. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so Virat will, I'll ask them and then just check, watch the Facebook. Um, they post everything on there. Uh, teacher, uh, sorry, Murad, you can check, uh, you can join the WhatsApp and on Telegram. Check every day, I, you can see the schedule. I will, yeah, so. Yeah, thank you, Siddharth, I will, I will. Great guys. Great. I had I had splendid time. I had I had a pleasant time today. So I would love you know to uh, to attend your coming classes as well. Thank you so much. Okay, Murad, you can uh, you can send me the message. I will send you group. Okay. Okay, guys. Um, Patricia. Oh yes. Yeah. Uh, thank you. First of all, congrats for the lesson. It was enriching. Thank you so much. Thank and uh, I would like to ask you if uh, are you going to share this beautiful PowerPoint somewhere? Um, I can ask them to share it. I will. I'll get back to. I'll ask them on the group, and I'll go add myself to the Telegram group. And I'll okay. Thank you that. so much. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Patricia. Uh, I'm gonna do Abdul with the last hand up, and and I think our time is almost done. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, uh, teacher, I I find you in a WhatsApp group, uh, Cosmic English. So, uh, uh, can you send your Facebook link? Um, I'll get the. Uh, there's a Telegram. Let me quickly get the. Facebook group link for you. You give me five seconds. Uh, where they tag everything on. Yeah, it's uh, Facebook slash groups slash worldwide English practice. Worldwide English practice. Why is this thing so slow to get? I'm just trying to get the group page. Um, uh, I'm going to post it in the chat now. Just give me a second. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Here's Kofi uh, from Yemen. Hmm? Somebody is speaking and I can't hear much. Yes, it's me, Professor. Uh, excuse me, sorry. Can you, you hear me? I can hear you now. Can you hear me? I can. Yes. Okay, here's Sophie um, from Yemen. Very happy to be with you guys. It's um it's struggling to hear you a bit. Um, so it the page is called Worldwide English Practicum. Guys, I'm not very good with Facebook at all. Um, I'm not one of those millennials. I am very stupid. There is the, you can search that name on Facebook and you'll get to the, it's, it's got a globe there 
a golden globe and yeah you can join the facebook group and everything all the information gets put on there the classes um i think the telegram link is on there as well there's a whatsapp yeah i'll also join the whatsapp group okay and then i will yeah if you guys are on the facebook you'll see when i teach and all the other teachers teach and all the information okay um is there anybody else that wants to before we end this class going going uh, teacher just i want thank you for you thank you for thank you thank you, thank you so much thank okay. you <laughs> murat yeah, I just wanted to say that you did a great class today. I really enjoyed, you know, all the the contributions, all the the ideas that you you brought to us. So, and I'm like looking forward, you know, to your coming class. Thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. Thank and you. And by guys. the way, you didn't have to do any plastic surgery for. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you. It's because it's too hot where I live, so I sweat <laughs> everything off. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, um, I will be back next week. Have a great day further.